Welcome. Welcome everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live video stream for the Empowered Spirit Show. Sunday nights, energy focusing our week, aligning our energy and looking to the cosmos to see what's going on. So we do have a lot going on, all right? We're in the last week of June. We are officially in summer, which is a really great time. I love the summer energy. It's a really fun time to be in there. And we have the energy that just moved into Cancer, the sun sign of Cancer, which is what I am. I'm born in the summer, which is kind of a fun thing, born in the summer. I love the summer. So I do know and resonate with that Cancer energy. So we have that coming forward right now as we move through this last week of June. It's going to be a week to kind of pull things together, finish projects up, prepare for the summer energy all right we talked about it a little bit last week the patience that is needed in the summer so that you can grow your work and really just kind of open up so it's like a little bit of like sit back relax it doesn't mean don't do anything all right you still need to take those steps forward you know like just like your plants like they're growing and you can't just like constantly be on top we've got to water them and tend to them and that's what we do with our projects in life too same thing we look to both of them to help us move through monday uh, will be a day to kind of just get yourself organized tuesday through thursday is the more productive day and then into the weekend could get a little bit of like that edgy feeling because we're going into dark of the moon and right into a new moon eclipse next week yes a new moon eclipse in Cancer. So we do have a lot of that energy that's going to be pulling on us as we move to the week, through the week, towards the weekend. Definitely really intense. And the summer, the energy of uh, Cancer is what starts off the summer. And that can be a little bit intense for a lot of people because Cancers are known to go within. They're known to be that self-reflective. They can be very deep. So you may be called to ask yourself, like, what's going on with me? Why am I feeling so like called to look within my soul? Why do I feel like I'm asking these deep, dark questions? And that's really what the cancer is about. It's very intuitive, very psychic. We go in there and we really kind of go deep within ourselves to ask some of these questions. We don't sit on the surface, all right? It's like that crab too, and within the shell, all right? And that's that kind of energy that comes forward. It definitely does take a lot. The thing about cancer too is that if you think about the crab, like it take it risks a lot to open up and expand. It has to leave its home, right? It has to take that opportunity, that chance. And so you might feel that, like you might feel a little vulnerable, and that's okay. This is the season. This month is a time to feel the feelings, whatever they are. Sit with them a little bit. Go within. Feel that because that vulnerability is what helps you grow. And yes, it does take a lot to be able to leave your home, to go out into your circumstances of life, whether you're leaving for real, whether you're moving, or whether you're just kind of leaving the comfort of what you know to be your quote-unquote home. So we do have that energy that comes up. But if you can use the energy of cancer, if you can use that sign, it's that intuitiveness, it's that perception. They can like walk into a room and just kind of sum it up. They can perceive what's going on. And so you have the ability to do that right now, especially if you practice intuition, especially if you take your time to sit with yourself, to get quiet, to understand no more about who you are, that instinctive nature will come forward for you. Really great time to do that. Instinctive nature will come forward. You'll be able to understand more of what's pulling you within. All right, especially as you move into next week with that eclipse, the eclipse sometimes helps us to shake things up. It helps us to see things that have been hiding, all right? It's an alignment of energy, all right? The new moon is there, so you don't see the moon. So that's why it becomes really intense, too, because we don't really see everything. It's aligning with the sun. It's shaking us up. And you can have big shifts, all right? You can, but that's a good thing, all right? It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be too intense. It can be a good thing for you, especially if you're trying to move forward, especially if you're trying to make changes in your life. You can open up at this time and find yourself stepping forward, really standing forward and really coming forward to really understand more and more about who you are and what is going on for you. So that energy comes forward or right at the summer, we've got the new moon coming in. So it is a time to really open up more and more and understand too that that energy of cancer, right? There's a lot of that energy of self-care, all right? You may like go, oh no, what's mine, what's not? And take on way too much of everybody else's energy and then not know what's going on for you. All right, so that's always one of the things we look for. But as we come into the eclipse with the new moon in Cancer, you're going to be important. It's going to be important for you to understand more and more of what your energy is. It's a nurturing, it's a giving, it's sensitive, it's intuitive, it's psychic, but we have to go within. 
we have to pull the energy in, pull it to form so that we understand more of what's going on. All right, so again, the main thing for this week is just really get through the week without being frazzled, feel yourself grounding, know what it is that you're trying to accomplish, all right? Some of the stones that come in for June, I mean for July and the summer are these beautiful selenites. Get some selenites. Clarity. They will offer you clarity. You can find it in so many forms. This is a wand. You can clear your energy with that. All right. You can also use it to help clear other stones. This is a beautiful piece like here. And I put my jewelry on after work to clear it out. And selenite will do that. Selenite has a beautiful vibration. It's kind of its mantra. It's like, I am clear. I am focused. All right. So selenite is beautiful. Rose quartz. Can't do any better than rose quartz. This is really great for self-love, self-care. It will remind you to love yourself. Really very, very important. Beautiful stones. I put them in my bathroom, around my tub. I love them so much. All right, those are two really good ones that are really great to help. Moonstone is another great stone. I can't seem to find that. I haven't finished unpacking. Moonstone reminds us that reflective energy of the moon. And also two sodalites. Sodalite is kind of an interesting stone. It's a stone of truth. All right, really important stone that you can use. It's a great time to really... Pull in these crystals, pull in the energy and vibration for you so you know where you are as you move through the energy and move through this week. All right, it's a beautiful time just to kind of let your hair down. We've been talking about it. We had a great crowd last week at Birmingham Yoga. Wild woman comes forward. Be fierce in how you stand up. And the, the, the energy of cancer, the sun sign and the moon sign is going to allow you to be more intuitive more knowing of who you are, pulling that energy within, all right? It's a great time to do that. All right, so let's take a moment and just pull our energy in and align and ground with this visualization meditation to help you come in and align for your work week as well. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a nice deep inhale and exhale away, lighting some sage, inhaling, and exhaling taking a moment taking a nice deep inhale and exhale sending the energy down centering your energy another deep inhale and exhale feeling your feet on the floor pulling your energy in calling it back scattered from the weekend calling it back aligning the center the spiritual body right on top of the physical body Calling in your own spirit guides, calling in your higher guidance. As we open up to this new energy of summer, the medicine wheel, we sit with the energy of summer in the direction of the south. So let us anchor in those directions to the south where we grow, we mature, we find love. The goddess energy rises. We honor the south to the west, the north, and the east, above us, below us, right into the very center, pulling your energy in, taking this time, this moment, to ground your energy, take a nice deep inhale and exhale, sending the breath down. And just for a moment, imagine this beautiful violet light all around you, violet to open the crown, violet for the transformation that's coming ahead. Just imagine this beautiful violet light coming all through the body, violet to cool from the summer heat. And imagine it just radiating out with each breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, imagine that radiant violet light coming out of the body, the heart, the arms, the feet, filling up your aura with this beautiful vibration, opening the spiritual body. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feeling this energy all around you so that you can feel the intuitive energy that you have. So you can trust those feelings within. So you can honor that sensitive part of who you are. Inhaling. And exhaling. Taking a nice deep breath. Feeling the feet grounding with Mother Earth. Feeling this violet light all around. Allowing you to shine your light. Taking a moment. Bringing the awareness back. Inhaling and exhaling bringing the awareness back coming back good so as we look to the cards for guidance this week 
drew some cards, had a little funny episode with the cards. I drew them and I'm like, well, wait, I wasn't really paying attention. I shuffled them again and the same cards came back. I shuffled them good and the same card. So funny enough, they were exactly the cards that are meant to come forward. So the first card that comes up for all of us, a little bit of an emphasis for us is this justice. All right, a major arcana of justice. This is a card about decisions. Look how the tails are entwined. Look at the black and the white. This is about making a decision right now. All right, the decision sometimes that we make can affect many things in our lives. So look at both sides. There's really no wrong choice, but look at how it is and ask yourself, what is it that is really kind of going to help you this week as you move through? What sides of the coin do you need to look at? How can you make a choice? Sometimes this is even karma. The energy you put out is the energy that comes back. So where can you offer gratitude for the many things that you have to do? And where can you really appreciate that you have these choices to make? All right, so slow down and look at what it is that you need to make. Look at both sides and understand how it plays out in your life. All right, so how do we do that? All right, whatever cards you chose, one, two, or three, can really kind of help you on this, all right? The first card that comes up is the Ace of Swords. All right, this is fun because we're in a new season. This is about new thought, new idea. Look at the lightning bolts, all right? Look at that infinite potential that comes forward as well. Really important for you to understand. New thought can come forward, but we have to be quiet. We have to be calm so that we can bring this energy in. Really great way. Get the other stuff out of there. Get the chatter of the mind quiet so that new thought of the mind can come in and that's going to help you make the choices that you need. All right. That was the first card. Interesting enough, the card that sits right below this card, number two, if you picked, it's an indecision card. All right. This is a two of swords. All right. So we've got the ace and the two talking about making decisions. All right, so what is it that's blocking you? Or what is it you don't want to see? All right, we have this eclipse coming in. And so many times it can bring up things that we don't want to see. And when we don't want to see things, it's hard to make a decision. All right, but like cancers teach us, feel those feelings, good, bad, or indifferent. This is how we grow. And maybe some of what you don't want to see is that uncomfortable feeling. So know this is a time that you can be supported to feel that that you can grow and move forward. All right, the third card, if you chose card number three, all right, I always love this card, the Six of Pentacles. This is all about growth. This is all about what the summer season is teaching us, growth and prosperity. We've got so much. Pentacles are our money, how we bring it out into the world. So as you grow your work and as you grow the light of who you are, you can be prosperous and you can be abundant. And those decisions that you have to make can lead you here. All right, beautiful cards for this week. First and foremost is look and see if you have some decisions to make. All right, and look at both sides of the coin. All right, new thought, clear the chatter so you can bring this in, bring new thought, infinite potential. All right, what is it you don't want to see? What can you move around so that you can make the choices that you need? And as you do, this beautiful card of prosperity and abundance will come forward for you. All right, a really good card that comes forward. So take a nice deep inhale. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm sorry I didn't get on Instagram tonight, but let me know if you have any questions. I am on Facebook. I've started a couple of times, so I'm not exactly sure where I am in the broadcast here. So if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them or draw a card for you as well. Taking a nice deep inhale. I know Alex, you asked me to draw a card for you. This one's for you. Happy anniversary. All right, the Son of Wands. This is all about bringing some of that passion forward, all right? The sun has that innocence, but it is transformation. Look at the burst of color. Perhaps as you celebrate your anniversary, you can feel some of that fire and passion and desire for your life and transformation. Time to make some changes. Come forward for you, all right? Anybody else? Mare, I know you were on there before. I'm going to draw a card for you. I lost you in the Instagram. The Hermit, we've had this card before. So don't be afraid to continually go within to learn about yourself, Mare. Really good card for you. Shine your light. Know yourself, all right? The turtle kind of has that crab energy as well. We go within our shell. We look at who we are. And then we have the ability, although vulnerable, to come forward too, all right? All right, I apologize for those of you that I didn't get to see. I don't know what's happening with the Instagram or the Facebook, but that is what it is. Can't take ourselves too seriously. All right, so as you move forward this week, 
know that we're preparing for the eclipse season know that we're preparing for the energy of that cancer energy that new moon energy to come forward to make some changes as you move through it is a good time to go within to be intuitive to be psychic about what it is you're seeing and to trust those inner guidance that you have that comes forward for you all right i have a new podcast series coming up on the empowered spirit show I'll be talking about CBD. I'm going to be actually reviving a series I did last summer. I've got some great guests, Laura Logano, Shira Adler, some really great guests, Jenny, Jenny Golden from CBD Relief coming forward for us. We're going to be talking about how it can help us spiritually, emotionally, physically, how all of this can help us bring it forward. I know it's a lot of it out there. We're also going to be doing restorative yoga and CBD oil so you can actually experience what we're talking about. That'll be coming up in July. All right, everybody. Stay strong to who you are. Try not to get frazzled this week as we move through the dark of the moon into that new moon eclipse. Be empowered. Take care of yourself. Nurture that inner guidance for who you are. Thanks again for joining me. To your spirit, namaste.